Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. Okay, so I'm here with a Nokia 7.2 and in this video I'll be taking a look at some of the camera settings and features on this mid-range device. Okay, so this camera has a triple camera setup as you can see here on the back. So the main shooter is a 48 megapixel shooter and it also has a 48 megapixel camera beside it and also a 5 megapixel with depth sensor and Zeiss optics. You can see the Zeiss or Zeiss, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, logo there. And it also has LED flash. So yeah, we're gonna go through some of the camera features and settings on this awesome mid-range device. Okay, so I've just launched the camera there. So these are the options. So I'm gonna go through them all one by one. Okay, so here in the top left hand corner we have the flash, so you can turn it on, have it set to auto or off. Okay, below that we have the timer, so this is the timer for selfies or if you want to take a normal picture or start your video recording, you can set the timer from 10 seconds or 3 seconds or you can keep it off. And then below that, we have the settings option here. And here we have the settings for the shutter sound. So the sound of taking photos, I like to keep that on. We have grid, show the rule of thirds in viewfinder, location tag. So this, I've enabled it. So whenever you take a photo or a video, you can tag your location. And then we have device, I mean, sorry, data storage, save in phone. So it's set to save in phone. And when I select it, nothing happens. I don't get the option to save it to SD card because the reason being, I do not have an SD card installed at the moment. But um, if you've got an SD card installed, you can just select this option and save all your recorded photos and videos to the SD card. Okay, so we have the photo option here. This is the depth wide angle option. Um, and we have raw files format support, burst shot, mirror photos for front camera, scene detection, photo resolution. So here you can change the photo resolution and also the camera resolution, the front facing camera resolution. And these are all the different ratios and um, options here. So 4x3, 48 megapixel, 4x3, 12 megapixel, 16 by 9, 9 megapixel, and full 7 megapixel. And photos for the front camera, these are the different options. 4x3, 20 megapixel, 16 by 9, 15 megapixels full 12 megapixels and 4x3 5 megapixels okay so let's go back and here we can select the different video resolutions so video from rear camera full hd so it's currently set to full 1080p resolution but this device also has ultra hd 4k and also 720p hd so that's for the, the rear camera. For the front camera, we have 1080p and 720p. And if you make any adjustments to the camera settings and you're not happy with the adjustments, adjustments you've made, you can just select this option here to reset all the camera settings back to their default settings. So let's go back to the main UI. Yeah, I just accidentally took a picture there. So you can use the volume up and down buttons to take a picture. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me just go through these other options here. So this option down here, we have square. And if you select this option here, you can put the camera into wide angle mode. 
So that's the normal mode and then this is wide angle mode 0.6x. And then we have lens, should all be familiar with lens. Welcome to Google Lens. When you open Google Lens, Lens will continually analyze what you see to show you results. Lens will stop analyzing what you see when you close the app. And we have panorama mode. You should all be familiar with panorama mode. It's been around for a long time. So this is panoramic mode. Didn't quite work out there, but like I said, panorama mode, it's nothing new. It's been around for a long time. And then we have time lapse. And time lapse also works in wide angle mode. And then we have slow motion video, which records at 120 FPS, I believe it is. And then video mode. And once again, this is wide angle mode on video mode. And night mode and night mode can be used in wide angle mode as well just by switching to 0 0.6x and there's something I was going to show you hold on okay so down here at the bottom we have the pro option and here we have auto so here you can change the white balance to your liking and we have the auto option here, ISO and you can also adjust the shutter speed as to how fast you want to take your picture. Okay, so this is the really cool bit now. We have, when you select video, if you select this little body icon here, we have single, single mode. And then we also have dual mode. So this is a really cool mode. Okay, so as you can see there, I'm there recording the video plus you can also see the table okay let's go back into that sorry about that so we have dual mode so I'm there recording the video and you can also see the table there so both cameras are working at the same time. The front facing camera is working and the rear camera is working at the same time. So that's really cool. And if you select it again, we have a PIP option here where you get this little window here at the top where you can see me. That's the front facing camera working and you can see the table behind me I mean in front of me here that's the rear camera so this is really good for like recording gameplays and if you want to capture yourself whilst you're recording gameplays this is very useful okay so let me just start recording Then you can just watch it back. Start recording. Okay, 
Start recording. Okay, so let me just um take a picture. Okay, let me just take a picture of this. Okay, so I've just taken a picture. And when I go into the picture gallery here, I can share the picture and I can also edit the picture here. And I can also crop the picture. And I can draw on the picture. And then once I'm done, I can just save the copyright there. Okay, so if you go to the portrait option here and take a picture and then go into the gallery and select this option here, you can use the portrait editor and edit the bokeh and beauty effects. And here you will find the Zeiss or Zeiss um, options. So this is Zeiss Modern. And beside it we have Zeiss Swirl, Zeiss Smooth, Classic, Star and Heart. So here you can just edit the picture here using these different options. These really cool portrait effects and we have Beautify. So yeah guys, this was just my video taking you all through some of the features and settings of the camera on the Nokia 7.2. This device really does take nice photographs. I will do a video separately showing you some photographs and it also records good video quality um, footage. I will do some video comparisons comparing it with the Moto G8 Plus. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like the video, share the video. Thanks for watching. See you boy if you enjoyed that time out. Deuces.